With a name like Meatloaf, people aren't likely to forget it in a hurry. And when you've put out an album that sells 40 million copies, like Dead Out of Hell, well, you've pretty well cemented your place in the Music Hall of Fame. Not that Meatloaf is interested in fame. In fact, to promote his new album, Hang Cool Teddy Bear, he's flying around the world playing it to a small group of reviewers. As far as he's concerned, the music business has turned the wrong way into the celebrity business. You read these surveys and people go, well, what do you want to do when you grow up? Oh, I want to be famous. Uh, and back when I started, there was, I don't think any of us really thought about being famous. You didn't want to be, you didn't want to be famous. I never once in my entire life said, oh, I want to do this so I can be famous. It was more, more about, well, I want to go do a show and, and if somebody comes up to me after the show and says, listen, I really enjoyed your show, thank you. And you go, oh, thanks. And then you went ahead and ate your fish. I had to go to a psychologist for every day for a year to get over the fact that I became famous. Woo, the last thing I wanted. You look back in your life. I mean, in many ways, you're lucky to be here, aren't you? I don't know. I mean, I don't look at it that way. I just keep moving and going along. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I mean, you, you, you contemplated suicide. I think your father attacked you. You oh, had your yeah. demons, well, all that sort of. Yeah, you know, those are all things that happen in anybody's life. You know, maybe your father doesn't attack you with a butcher knife, but, you know, hey, there's other things that happen. But you know what? You can't. There's too many people in the world that have a problem with their parents or a problem with whatever, and they'll do something and, and they will go, well, it's all because of, you know, what happened to me as a kid and what my father did to me. And I go, you know what, that's a really poor excuse. You're responsible for yourself now. Get over it, dude. Get over it. The thing that a lot of people find hard to get their heads around with you, here's a guy named Meat yeah. who's a vegetarian. <laughs> Well, it's not that weird. It's really not. I mean, there's, there's probably a guy named Frank or a guy named Chuck or a guy named Stu that's a vegetarian as well. Having a name of meatloaf is so bizarre to start with. And I've tried so long to get rid of it. And every time I look at it, it's like when I see an album cover and I go, meatloaf. I just go, I, I don't believe it. How is this possible? How, how, how is this at all possible that for 62 years I have been called meat. It, it's just, it's mind-boggling. How did you end up being called meat? That my dad called me meat when I was about nine months old. And the thing was, what, there's so many stories floating around. So finally, I just decided, well, I'm just going to start making up stories. So I just, one story after another, I must have made up 25 different stories. Few of them stuck. My favorite one that didn't really go too far was the plane crash in, in Montana where I was raised by wolves for four years <laughs> until they found me again. But I, I had that real story really down really well. And people would look and go, they'd be into it for a minute and then they'd go, no. I go, yeah, that's all I could say when they found me was meat, meat. <laughs> You look at Bad Out of Hell, I mean, one of the most successful albums of all time. Yeah. Do you end up getting trapped by something like no, that? No, you, you can't get trapped by something like that. We gave our heart and soul to that. And it goes out in the world and it becomes its own little solar system. And it's affected so many lives and so many things that how could it ever be an albatross, a stone around your neck, anything? It's, it's given so many people so much joy that that's the purpose of doing it. As well as the voice, I mean, you are a very, very successful actor. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Rob Cavallo coined this phrase, Meatloaf is an actor who acts like he can sing. <laughs> and that's basically true. And I, because I tell them when we start out a song, listen, remove the razor blades because you're gonna commit suicide if you don't. <laughs> Because I don't approach a song the way singers approach a song. Because the singers will go in and they go, okay, that note goes here and that melody's there and the timing is this. I go in, I don't care, I'm not singing the melody, I'm not singing in time. I, I'm working 
on the character. And this whole, and usually on every record, what happens is there are individual characters for every song. One of the connections to this country, of course, is the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Right. And you, you're both on stage and also uh, in, in the movie. I owe so much to Rocky Horror Picture Show. I mean, without Rocky Horror Picture Show, I don't think Bad in the Hell would have broken. Um, I, I owe so much to Richard O'Brien, to, to Tim Curry, because they allowed me to put the videos in front of the a Rocky Horror Show in, in the States. Uh, the Paradise video played as a trailer before every... I mean, I owe so much to those people. We're gonna go all the way tonight, we're gonna go 